Hello and welcome to this 2K Sports presentation of the WNBA. Tonight we'll see the Dallas Wings as they play against the Minnesota Lynx. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Suniga here with Brian Banafatemi and Tim Swartz. Well, we're at the point of the season where you know what you have and know what to expect for the rest of the season. There's going to be some surprise downfalls and surprise rises to victory, but I'd say we can predict about 80% of what's to come. Yeah, and the other 20% is why we love sports so much. It's the unpredictable that makes it so interesting. It's Burton. Outside, a Agumawale. Drains it from beyond the arc. With the ability to get off quick releases, Agumawale can excel in the catch and shoot. Here's Collier. Down low. Pass to Goddess. They set the pick from deep. And it's Collier missing. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Outside, Agumawale. Sabali down low. Defended by Achanwa. And here's Sabali. Shot clock at six. Throws back up. But Cowan lays it in. What an absolute force McCowan is down low. The board, the points, what a talent. So first quarter, just over a minute and a half in. And it's Collier missing. Arike Agumawale on the wing. She's guarded by Court Queen. Solid find by Lopez Seneschal. She's all for making her teammates better. And here are the links now. It's a five-point game. Pass to Achanwa. And here's Juhas. And again, no good by Minnesota. It's Burton. Outside, Agumawale. Now Burton. Twenty feet out, and again, it's Dallas converting. They're shooting eighty percent so far. Obviously, it's early, but offensively, they're looking great. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Here's Achanwa, nailed from three-point land. The silky J of Achanwa on display. The Canadian getting it done. Lopez Seneschal, covered by Collier. Outside, Sobley. There's a screen by McCowan. High post shot. Connects. The jumper drops. A big part of this run here has been their ability to hit from mid-range. And some might shy away from that mid-range jumper, but they've made the most of it. Now here's a Chanla. He's got five. And during the 2020 Bradenton bubble, Arike Agumbawale won the scoring title. So impressive doing it in just her second year at just 23 years old. Arike uh, holding off Asia Wilson down the stretch of that season, averaging just about 30 during the last four games to secure the scoring title. Arike Agumbawale on the wing. She's guarded by Court Queen. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. Pass to Goddess. Collier. Screen by Goddess. A drive by Nafisa Collier. Count that bucket. How about that shot going in for Collier? Looked like the contact might disrupt her. Guess it didn't. Dallas leading. Outside Agumawale. And again, it's the wings from deep. They've started strong. Shots are just falling. Oh, yeah. Shots are falling indeed. They're off to a very strong start offensively. Let's see if they can keep it up. 
Now here's Court Queen. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. It's been a heavyweight fight. It's Burton. And here's Satu Sabali outside. Not going to go that time. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. So it's Dallas now. They lead by four. Pass to Burton. Now here's Savali. Falls through. She's now made two out of four. Using her length to find her shot inside. Sabali is a real threat on the interior. Here's Minnesota. And here's Collier. From outside the arc. Pans it from downtown. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here's Agupa Wale. Eight points for her. Pass to Burton. Five on the clock. Back to Agupa Wale. They waste no time getting those three points back. Well, they can't ask much more of her than what she's done this quarter. Now here is Goddess. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Buries the long-range jumper. Both teams on fire right now from the opening tip. This is going to be an entertaining game of basketball today, folks. I think that much is obvious. Get your popcorn ready. It's Burton. Pass to Lopez Seneschal. Here's McCowan. Here's Savali. That's good. And it's Tierra McCowan with the assist. You know, she's having a nice quarter, scoring with confidence. Here's Court Queen. And there's the whistle, illegal screen. Well, I just think an illegal screen, it's one of the toughest calls for an official to make. Yeah, you have to appreciate how difficult a job they have to do when it comes to making calls like that. It's not as easy as people might think. And the refs in this league just do a great job. And here's Burton. On the wing, Diamond to Shields. A special move before the shot. You can't allow to Shields to get good positioning, you know, the ball down low, because once that happens, the D is toast. Pass to Juhas. Big ride, covered by De Shields. Oh, you're inside. The rebound by the wings. Outside to Shields. Lopez Seneschal with it. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Six to shoot. Here's McCowan. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Oh, you're outside. Here's Goddess. Gets it to go from downtown. What a selfless decision by Collier. She sees someone with a better look, gets in the ball. Dallas with the ball. Yeah, Four-point game. Pass to Lopez Seneschal. Screen by Lopez Seneschal. It's Burton. Oh. McCowan inside. A John yeah. Wall honor. Banked in off the glass. Now Collier. He's got five. Goddess with the ball. Burton with the rebound. Great look. Disappointing miss. What happened there? I mean, that, that shot's almost as good as automatic. I don't know. Lopez and a shawl. Pass to Burton. Now Sobley. Six on the shot clock. 
to the wing, right side, shoots it. The offensive rebound, it's Burton. And here is Saboli. Now here's Lopez Seneschal. Over Collier. Lopez Seneschal, that's good. Out of the forward spot, Saboli has some solid playmaking ability. Good decision maker as well. Minnesota trailing. Here's Collier. And so she earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and she'll shoot two. It's going to go on Tierra McCowan. And it's her first trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. After becoming the WNBA's Rookie of the Year in 2019, it's safe to say Nafisa Collier has a bright future in this league. That's off as well, so she misses both. Dallas in the lead. Outside of Gumawale. Connects from three-point range. They made one bucket after another since getting this game started. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet, Tim. I wouldn't go that far, but it has been pretty ugly so far. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Well, some quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, it sure didn't take them long to go and get those three points back. in time but it's no good offense the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close wings out in front they're up by eight after this break we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2k sports the second quarter beginning in just a moment and looking at what we've seen from the wings what do you guys think really hard work being put in from the glass uh, by them from the get-go yeah everyone's done a great job boxing out for them here and it's showing up on the stat sheet outside Howard The shields. Fires for three. Brown inside. That one falls. Talk about playing with intensity. On the offensive glass, Brown is a matchup nightmare. Now here's Court Queen. Takes the three. And the links another three. That's a dozen straight points coming off of threes. Yeah, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it, non-existent. Here's the shields. Out to the wing. Outside of Gumawale. Fires from deep. Drills the three-pointer. Strong answer from Olga Manwale, a title winner in college. She is a flat-out competitor. 
And when you think of Arike Agungawale, her scoring is the thing that comes to mind immediately. This is her role, and she does it well. She's a volume shooter who can score from all three levels. And I appreciate how fearless she is. Elish, shot is good. Terrific job to convert the putback. Uh, she uh, stay with that play from start to finish, and that's something we say about her a lot. Outside Howard. To the middle. Here's Agumawale. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake freezes the D. Well, her shooting has been outstanding. Definitely, you know, one of the reasons why they're winning this game. Now, here's Court Queen. Guarded now by Agumawale. They set the screen. Here's Court Queen. No good with the triple. Outside Howard. Past Ogumbawale. Howard. Good, and the assist goes to Ogumbawale. Well, Howard's three-point shot has certainly come a long way, and she plans to continue improving her accuracy. Now, here's Court Queen. Nine points in the game. Here's Shepard, covered by Segrist. Here's Court Queen. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Wow. Four here in the first half. They're going to need to do something else on defense. Now here's Agumbawale. Timeout, timeout. 19 points in the game. Dallas calls timeout. Teams making some changes here. And uh, here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. McCowan up top. Pass to Gumbawale. To Shields. Good, and the assist goes to Agumawale. The ability to catch and shoot effectively is pretty rare for a young player like the Shields. Oh, you're with it. Shepard, the screen. Oh, you're inside. Covered by the Shields. Clock is at three. Here's Kayla McBride from the arc. The rebound by the wings. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Oh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It sets a tone. Now here's Howard. This is the most they've led by. 13 points. Pass to court queen. And she dunks it down. You know, they love to see her get a lot more of those opportunities. That deficit will go away quickly if she does. And I like the way she capped that drive off. The one-hand punch. It's Burton. Here's a good Wale. Howard. 
On the wing, Diamond to Shields. To the right side. Here's Burton. And again, it's Dallas with a three. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over again. They might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Now here's Collier. Five points in the game. They've gotten a lot of extra possessions because of their rebounding air. It's been a lot, and I think it's made the difference in this game because they've done great work on the boards. Left side to Shields. Pass to Gumbawale for three. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. Here's Juhas. For three and a piece of Collier. Tasha Howard pulls it in. She just hasn't looked right. She, she hasn't. And something is off with her mechanics, I think. And here's McCowan. Pass to Gumbawale. Now Burton. Tries a three. Agunbawale. Agunbawale is doubled. Jacks up a three. Burton can't hit. And here's Court Queen. He's got 14. Good on the three-point shot. She's leading the way offensively. Can they ride her back into it? Agunbawale with it. Time called here. The Wings decide to talk it over. to Burton. Now here is McCowan. Shot clock at five. Down it goes. Her third basket. She's now three for four. Well, this is where she's going to make her money professionally. Six, seven, with touch. McCowan will score points in the paint for years. Now here's Collier. He's got five. Juhas. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead her to the rim with a pass like that. It's Burton. It's Lou Lopez and a shawl on the wing. McCowan inside. Covered by Goddess. McCowan with the bucket found the soft spot in the D right there. Here's Court Queen. 17 points in the game. Pass to Collier. Oh, 
Over to the wing. Just five to shoot. And that one's good. Got us. What a perfect release that time. I thought it might get blocked, but nope. Yeah, she was giving up a lot of size in that matchup. Excellent ability to get off the long range shot. Now Sobley. Six points for her. The three ball. Rebound by Juhas. They got lucky. They got lucky. And the defense is taking a big chance, leaving her open behind the arc. And I'm not sure I'm okay with that game plan. Now here is Goddess. She's got six. Oh, Queen. That's good. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. You're right. Three of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's Burton, covered by Goddess. From seven, it's hauled in by the Lynx. Unusual miss. Typically, her skill on the inside trumps average defense. Pass to Collier. Watches it. Tatu Sabalu comes up with the board. Outside to Shields. Here's Burton, covered by Goddess. And here's Burton. Five points in the game. From the Satu Sabali. Rebound by Goddess. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Now here's Court Queen. 20 points for her. Here's Goddess. She gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit lead. A strong second quarter for her scoring the ball. Dallas leading. Pass to Lopez Seneschal. Screen by Lopez Seneschal. It's Burton. Here's McCowan. Nails the baby hook. Assist goes to Veronica Burton. And here are the links now. Out to the right wing. And it's Court Queen missing. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but, hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Now here's Sabali. She has six. Tries again. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Screen by McCowan. Lopez Seneschal bangs home the trifecta. Check out the confidence from Lopez Seneschal from downtown. That's a shot she'll take if she's left open. And we finish one half of play. It's the Wings. They lead by 13. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going.
And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close. And we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third started. And really an incredible game from Agumba Wale. Well, she created a lot of good shots for herself in the first couple of quarters. And she knows when to pass up on the tough ones. Good shot selection. And that led to a very high points per shot number for her. And that's a stat that really tells you how efficient a player has been. Getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far, but we'll see if that changes. Now here's a Wale to the paint. Here's McCowan. And two shots coming up at the line as she gets fouled on the shot. And the foul goes against Minnesota. So it's something we're going to see for a long time in this league. McCowan getting to the line. Knows how to use her body to bait defenders. Shooting two. And the first one falls for her. The third overall pick of the 2019 WNBA Draft. Tiara McCowan, she's an old-school center, a real dying breed in basketball, but she's fun to watch. And so she hits both. Here's Goddess. Pass to Court Queen. Nafisa Collier on the wing. And a miss there on the triple. They've shown some strength in the paint. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, and that's putting it mildly, guys. They've been absolutely dominant. It's Burton. It's Lou Lopez and Ashal on the wing. Outside, Agumawale. The three-pointer off the mark. Here outside. Wing shot on the way. That one drops for. Yeah, with well, Nafisa Collier, you know, a, a player that chips in everywhere, including the mid-range. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Outside Agumawale. Pass to Sabali. Off target from outside. And here are the links now. Trailing by 13. Collier with it. And here's Goddess. Court Queen. Guarded now by Aguba Wale. And it's Court Queen missing. You see defenders afraid to get in her way a lot of times when she's on her way to the bucket. Attack that time. And that one's good. Sabali. Good recognition from Agumba Wale. She's more than capable of understanding when her teammates are wide open. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Pass to Court Queen. They set a pick. Nafisa Collier on the wing, defended by Lopez Seneschal. Collier, 11 feet out, and she hits it. You know, she has the ability to run both sides of the pick and roll. Collier, a dynamic offensive player, a ball handler and finisher. Time called here. The Wings decide to talk it over.
to Lopez Seneschal. Outside, Agumawale. Now Burton, covered by Goddess. Five to shoot. Outside, Agumawale. Lopez Seneschal. Shoots over at Chanwa. Lopez Seneschal outside. Agun Bawale. Back to Lopez Seneschal. Three-pointer. Hits it from three-point range. I love the confidence that Lopez Seneschal shows. Ready to fire as soon as she gets the rock. This Lynx squad struggling. Right around three minutes into this second half. Inside. Achanwa, good. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. And it's the Wings ball. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Now here is McCowan. He's got 12. Pass to Sabali. Misses the three. She's tried to get it going, but the shots simply haven't been dropping for her. To the inside. Takes it out to Collier. Bork Queen with it. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Savali. Now Burton. She's got five. Lopez Seneschal outside. Outside Agumawale. Offensive rebound. McCowan with the bucket. And that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready to react as soon as the shot goes up. Pass to Court Queen. Outside Achanwa. There's a screen by Achanwa. Court Queen with it. Guarded now by Agumawale. Sinks the three-pointer. It's so hard to contain her. I mean, she just gets it done however she has to do it. Here's the wings with the ball. 17 points was their biggest margin. Agumba Wale's double. McCowan inside. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, it's about more than the impressive size of McCowan. She's also got great touch. She's showing it tonight. Now here is Goddess. 11 points in the game. Nafisa Collier on the wing. Chanwa the screen. And there's the call on Sabali. That is her first foul of the game. Team's first. First team foul. Substitution on the court. For three, Nafisa Collier. Arike Agumboale with the rebound. She's not exactly killing him from deep. I mean, she had one three ball in the first half, yes, but still none here in the second. It's Burton. She has five. Pass to McCowan. Kicks it out to Sabali. Four on the clock. That's good. And it's Pierre McCowan with the assist. Look, she didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first, but the defense left her a look, and she nailed it. Collier outside. And there's a pick. Shot from 12. Count that one. That's a hard J to defend. Collier is 6'2". She has a nice release and is deadly accurate. It's Burton, covered by Goddess. The kick out to Agumawale. Offline with the three. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D. Because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. So it's Dallas now. 13-point lead. And here's Burton. Pass to Gumbawale. The three. Yes, it's good. That bucket takes her to nine for 14. 
How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Got us with the ball. 11 points in the game. Now Court Queen. Here's Juhas. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Asko Gumbawale. McCowan with the ball. Burton covered by Goddess. Outside of Gumbawale. Gumbawale is doubled. Down to five on the shot clock. They grab their own miss. Sabali. And they convert at last on attempt number three. Well, with her 6'4 length, Sabali can gobble up boards. Also has the energy to time get out, that rebound out. and go up with it. Time called here. The Lynx Started. decide to talk it over. Powers with it. Powers there. Pass to Goddess. Good. And the assist goes to Ariel Powers. She's knocking down her shots today, but it unfortunately hasn't really translated to the scoreboard. Here's Dallas now. They led by as many as 18 points. Inside. And stolen by Collier. And now the Lynx fast break. Goddess, no good. Here's the Shields. Five points in the game. Here's Brown. And again, it's Dallas converting. Using A-plus awareness to find the wide-open teammate, the Shields doesn't mind distributing. Pass to Goddess. Back to McBride. The tray drops in the tray. Up to the defense, they got to talk to each other. Clearly in air, not getting out there on her three-point attempt. Now Burton. Outside Howard. And here's Sabali, covered by Collier. Back to Howard. Launches a three. It's good from long range. Well, that's the decisiveness you need to have on catch-and-shoot jumpers. Howard doesn't really second-guess her shot attempts. Now the Lynx with it. 17-point game. Pass to Goddess. Shepard. Outside Powers. Shepard, the screen. Clock at six. Now here is Goddess. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Oh, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for the last five makes from beyond the arc. And the defense practically giving them those shots. And they'll take them. Now here's Sabali. 13 points in this game. To the middle. That's good. And it's Natasha Howard with the assist. 
after uh, leaning on the three-point shot in the first half, they're starting to get away from it here in the second. More of their shots are coming from inside. Here's Goddess. She's got 17. Pass to Collier. Beyond the arc. The rebound by the wings. Shot clock and game clock, one second differential. Now Burton. Here's the Shields. Now here's Sabali, covered by Collier. Goes back up. Oh, and she just nails it. It's in. Oh, right at the buzzer. And what a bonus for them to end the, the quarter as she beats the buzzer. Now that is how you use every last second on the clock. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Wings. They lead by 18. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Welcome back as the fourth quarter is right ahead. Not exactly a close contest here. Goddess. Pass to Court Queen. The three is up. Sinks the triple. Last five makes. All five from long range. And the defense hasn't pressed up to deny it. They're hanging back and they're getting picked apart. Pressure the ball, pressure something. Now here's a Gumawale. And the three ball is good. Can they make some sort of defensive adjustment? Because guess what? She is killing them from three-point range. And even when they have closed out on her, she's still knocking them down. I mean, this is just an unbelievable performance we're seeing right now. Dallas with the ball. Arike Agumbawale on the wing. Agumbawale is doubled. Brown covered by Goddess. Brown finds the bottom of the bucket from about 13 feet out. Terrific pass. Uh, you know, under the double team, it's great to see her stay as cool as she did. Now here is Goddess. Tight defense on her. Pass to Shepard. To the paint. Goddess. And the layup falls. Well, you got to give it to Shepard. She keeps her eyes up and her options open. the wings with the ball outside Howard we're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth Agumba Wale no good down low and stolen by Diamond to Shields pass to Howard to Shields Howard the screen three pointer the Shields can't hit. Outside Powers. Here's Goddess, covered by De Shields. Hits the three-point bomb. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taking advantage of a tired defense. Time called here. Time out, the time Wings out. decide to talk it over. And more than just a role player, Ariel Powers has turned herself into a force in this league. Helping Washington win a championship back in 2019. It was really her first breakout season where she put it all together. And she hasn't looked back since.
We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. That he should be thanking her for that miss. Right wing. Here's Court Queen. Good. And the assist goes to Ariel Powers. The efficiency of Powers passing is great. Delivers the ball straight to a wide open shooter. And here's Burton. Outside of Gumawale. Burton. McBride covering. Diamond to Shields from outside. The three-pointer is on target. That was simply a defensive breakdown there. She was all alone for that shot. I, I mean, that's like a warm-up jumper. Pass to Court Queen. Right side powers. Court Queen with it. Started now by Agumba Wale. So it's Dallas now. 16-point lead. Here's Burton. And she drops in the layup off glass. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. McBride outside. Collier outside. Shoots the three. Drills it from outside. A legitimate threat from beyond the arc. Collier feels comfortable trying her luck whenever she's given the chance. Abunba Wale with it. Outside to Shields. Pass to Burton. And here's Agunba Wale. McBride covering. Agunba Wale is doubled. Howard, that's good. Well, you simply have to be aware of Natasha Howard inside. When she gets in position, she usually doesn't miss. Here's McBride. Now Court Queen. Guarded now by Agunba Wale. Right outside. Pass to Powers. Six to shoot. Shoots over to Shields. Another one falls for Minnesota. An efficient score. When Powers sees there's some space to get her shot off, she does not hesitate. And here's Burton. Power the screen. Pass to DeShields. It's Burton. Shoots a three. Doesn't go for her. Now Powers. Collier. There's a screen by Court Queen. McBride, covered by DeShields. McBride misses. Nice play on D, got that hand in her face, and it prevented an easy look. Exactly. She was alert and aware, and really just reacted quickly to that shot. It's Burton. Out to the right wing. Brown. And Powers pulls it down. Collier outside. To the right side. Fires the three. And there's the foul. It'll go on Shepard. That's her first foul. Team's first. Substitution on the court. Dallas with the ball. Now here's a Goomba Wale. Kicks it out to Sabali. Fires from the wing. Here's McCowan. In it goes for the eighth time in ten attempts. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside. 
and attacking that time rim, out, right. That's right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. making a switch here. So the Lynx now. Trailing by 17. Pass to Goddess. There's the triple. And again, no good by Minnesota. Agumba Wale with it. Back to McCowan. Out to the left wing. Just two to shoot. Burton gets the bucket. Fired that bounce pass in there beautifully. Here's Goddess. Pass to Collier. Takes the three. Knocks down the three ball. She's finally getting the feel for the deep ball. Her second three of the half right there. It's Burton. Covered by Goddess. Bawale's double. Now Fisa Collier with the block. Not today. Collier, a very good shot blocker. Really good with her timing. Pass to Goddess. For three. And the Lynx, another three. What a final quarter they're having from downtown. A bunch of threes falling to them. And they might as well keep going back to the well. Work that perimeter while they're hot. And work it to the final whistle. Now here is McCowan. That one falls. Coming off Arike Agumbawale's nice beat. The concentration. The fire from McCowan. Wow. Able to hit the shot despite the D being all over her. Pass to Collier. To the middle. Juhas. Great pass to set up the land. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Outside, Sobley. And here's Burton. Pass to Sobley. Now Lopez Seneschal to the inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And every point they get now puts them one step closer to finishing this one off. If they haven't already done it, just a tremendous all-around performance we've seen from them. Yeah, Brian, it's been a treat to watch. Now here's Court Queen. 
A Chanwa. A Chanwa the screen. To the paint. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Uh, this had come earlier. They might have been able to get back into it. 100%. They needed this a lot sooner than they got it. Yeah, where was this earlier? It's Burton. Lopez Seneschal outside. Masto Gumbawale. Just five on the clock. Back to Saboli. Lopez Seneschal with it. Here's Burton. Rebound by Juhas. Goddess with the ball. Picked up by Lopez Seneschal. Goddess. No good. It's two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside, Agun Mowale. Saboli. They get it back. Left side, Lopez Seneschal. And here's Burton. And so it's Dallas easily grabbing this one. And in the end, a comfortable win in what was a pretty hostile environment. Yeah, you know, it's never going to be easy uh, on the road. But they didn't have too many problems tonight. And that'll wrap it up.